Hey guys, welcome to day four of Blocktober. Y'all know it's fall and it's getting ready to start getting a little cold outside. Now what I've made today is crock pot smothered pork chops. Now when it gets a little cooler, you're gonna want a warm hearty meal and this is the perfect thing. Let me just see what I'm talking about. Look at that. Now it don't it only takes six hours to cook. Now I don't recommend that you cook this um, overnight. You're gonna make sure that you're awake, maybe a little bit busy, you don't have time to watch the stove. Put these on, set it, and forget it, okay? Then after five hours, you're gonna come back and put your cream and mushroom soup on it. Then you're gonna wait one more hour and you're gonna be ready to eat. Okay guys, get ready for some deliciousness. Okay, let's get started. This is the pork chop that I'm gonna be using today and they are pork steaks, okay? Now they are called in bone shoulder blade steaks. All right, I got these from Sam's. I forgot how much they were, okay? So forgive me for that. But I've had this sitting out overnight so it can thaw out. So I've had it in the freezer. And what I'm gonna do is get it washed up and good and clean. And then I'm gonna come back and show you what I'm gonna be putting on it for these crock pot smothered pork chops. Okay, y'all, so now I have got the pork chops good and clean. Got them sitting on the side over there. What we're gonna be doing is putting one large yellow onion. You can use white or whatever kind you have. We're gonna be adding Slap Your Mama seasoning, two envelopes of the Lipton onion soup mix, and two cans of cream mushroom soup. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this in a crock pot on high for six hours. We're going to cook the pork chops for five hours, then we're going to drain all the excess grease that's gonna be in that pan. Then we're gonna add two cans of cream mushroom soup and let it cook for another hour, and that's gonna be it. Y'all, these, I don't usually like meat in the crock pot, but once you learn the timing, once you get your timing down and your temperature, you are good to go. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna cook in layers. Let's get the onion chopped up first. And we're just gonna be chopping this up, slicing it. Doesn't have to be perfect, y'all already know. So we're gonna take the tough skin off of the onion. And this is a meal that you can cook. Some people say that people who use crock pots are lazy. People use crock pots because they're convenient, okay? I work a 12 hour job on the days that I work. And I can cook this and it can be ready when I get home. Now I do have a crock pot that has a timer on it so I can tell how long, this, I can set it for however long I want to cook. So we're gonna slice the onions just like that. All right, now I'm gonna just set this to the side until I get ready to start layering the crock pot. Okay, let's get my pork chops over here first. Let me go ahead and mention, this recipe is for people who eat pork. If you don't eat pork, go on ahead and turn this video off, go to something else because I don't need your negative comments. Because if I get anything negative saying that we are an abomination, we're not supposed to be eating pork, half the world eats pork. And if you don't eat it, that's fine. If you do, good. But if you don't, leave me alone. Go to somebody else's video who's not eating pork. Okay, the first seasoning we're gonna use is Slap Your Mama. We're going to put this all over our pork chops. And remember this can be a little spicy, so you don't want to put too much. These are some really good pieces of meat. I like to get the pork steaks because they don't dry out as much as the pork chops do, especially the center cook pork chops. 
And there's most of the time about six pieces in the pack when I get it from Sam's. How many did I say? Did I just contradict myself? It's only five in the pack. All right. Now I'm going to start layering. I think that was five pieces in there. So turn that that way. There we go. So first I'm going to put a layer of onions in the bottom. Let's see if y'all can see this. Well, you can't really see it. So let's change um, positions. Okay, y'all, excuse me for moving around all like that. But I want you to be able to see how I'm gonna layer this in here. Okay, so we're gonna put the onion in three layers. Okay, so that's the first layer. Then we're gonna put a layer of pork steak. And there's only five pieces in here. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna take one pack, one envelope of the lip and onion soup mix. And we're going to sprinkle it. Okay, then some good old onions. Another layer. Put some more slap your mama. Some more onions. In the rest of this pack. And last one. Go right on top like that. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm, there you go. That I'm using the side or I'm seasoning the side that wasn't seasoned. Okay. So that's it. For the Sapia Mama, we're gonna put the last envelope of the soup mix. And the last of the onion. Now, this is not rocket science, okay? This is very easy. These were the best pork chops I've made in a while. Let me clean out my pan a little bit. Okay, I don't like that at all. So what we're gonna do is put this in the crock pot. It's gonna cook for five hours. Okay, guys, you see I got it on high. It's going to sit here for five hours. Okay, y'all, I'm going to take the top off. Y'all see how good it's cooking? Ooh, that looks so good. Now, what I'm going to do is just kind of move them around a little bit to make sure they're not stuck together. Now, the onions produce a little bit more um, liquid in there but that's good. So we're gonna let them cook for about 45 more minutes and then we're gonna take off some of the oil and then we're gonna add our two cans of cream mushroom soup. All right, those are the last two cans I had in the cabinet. We just came back in from doing a little shopping and we got some more. And y'all, let me show you something. This is the cream of mushroom soup that I get from Sam's. Y'all remember back in the day when you used to get a box and it was 12 in here. Okay, now they shrink wrap it in plastic and there's only eight. Okay, before they did this one, it was 10 in the little, I think it was a, a shrink wrap too, but they went from 12 to 10, now we got eight. So I guess before it's over with, we're gonna have six. I'm gonna have to find this somewhere else. Okay, it's been five hours, y'all. So what we're gonna do is take some of that drippings off Take some of the drippings off, just by doing it like that. Okay, I think this is enough for right now. You see how that grease? Okay, now, next, put this to the side. 
gonna take our two cans of cream of mushroom. And I like to put it in a bowl and break it up a little bit. bit of milk in here. Now for those who don't want to use milk, you can use a little bit of water, about half a cup. And then stir it up to get it really good and pourable. I'm just gonna come over here and pour it over the meat. Okay, so make sure that you just cover it. And then when we get done, we're gonna come out here and scoop some more of the fat off. And it'll be all the way through. We'll stir it up again. Now we will be back in one more hour. Okay, you guys, the pork chops are ready. What we're gonna do is take the lid off. And since there's not a lot of excess uh, grease floating around, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and give it a final stir. And then I'm gonna plate them. Look at that. That is delicious brown gravy. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my plate. This is my finished product. Now, let me tell you, they did fall apart, but that is gonna happen when you cook stuff in a crock pot. Okay, so what I have here is smothered pork chops, okay? Crock pot smothered pork chops. I cooked them for five hours. Then, after the five hour mark, I took a little bit of the grease off of it. Then I put two cans of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, and I let it cook for another hour, and this is the result. Doesn't that look so good, y'all? And let me tell you something, honey. It is going to be so delicious. So delicious. Okay, and this right here is the gravy. It's left over. And don't throw this out because you know what's good? If you take this gravy and you put it on some grits for breakfast, okay? Take this gravy and put it in the refrigerator after it cools down, of course. And the next time you cook some grits this week, you put some of this right here on it and you're gonna wanna slap your mama. <laughs> okay, so let me get everything plated and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is it right here. Smothered pork chops, green beans, rice, and gravy. All right, let's see, you ready for your dinner? Pray and say the grace. Um, say the grace and we're gonna eat. Paper towels right there. No, they just ate. Okay. Bye. 
spicy. Oh my. From Church's Chicken. Goodness. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Did you get that I thought you were doing this job. What is strong? Oh, shit. What do you want to do? Don't worry about it. God is great. God is good. Let us thank our Father for his hands. Give the Lord our daily bread. Amen. Okay, let me. I should have put this on there. Give me a bit. One second. Let me sneeze. Let me sneeze. Okay, now I'm not gonna sit here and let y'all watch us eat the whole meal. I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. But remember, you can cook this in six hours, okay? Now the green beans, I didn't make a video for, but I do have a recipe or video for green beans. I'll put a link in the description so y'all can see how to make those. And this is just right for the chip. Okay, guys, this is October day four. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make this. And if you do, leave me a comment in the description in, in the comments saying how it tasted, how it turned out for you. Okay guys, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.